Hi, this is Harvey Hollingsworth of The Natural Light. This is the closing hours of the October furniture market of 2020. I want to quickly show some of the new things that we introduced this, this market and, when, and also the April market. This item is a porcelain piece. And here we feature it with acrylic mounting and you'll see it later on with, a, with an antique brass mounting. This shape, along with the circular ball shape, did extremely well. I thought that the, the column was outselling the uh, round shape, but when I looked at the figures, they both sold absolutely identical. So we were very proud of what these did. And of course, the, as we said, the design's created by the shadows. So if we're going on in here, we'll come to uh, a magnolia. And of course, this is uh, artwork at its best. It's a lamp that maybe not be for everyone, but it can provide that excellent accent in a room setting that'll make it quite, quite unique. And then next to it here, we have this piece that's in, in a gray. It's called a Machon, and it has like a snowflake on the top, and then it graduates down to where you have a combination of gray. And this was among the top selling of, of the new items. We feature the moonbeam fabric here with this. And then over here we have Brittany that is in uh, our silver gold finish. And uh, placements always, everything sets here during a market seems to do very well. And of course, it's featured with the blue uh, painting that you see behind it. Then as we go on through the showroom, let's walk over here, talk about some new items here on this particular counter. This is the horn that is inlaid on a box and has an antique brass mounting and it has a, a bisque finish. You'll see one later on in black that has a high polish on it and it's featured with a, an acrylic mounting. And this market, we introduced uh, five pharmacy lamps, and these have been very good sellers. I've been quite pleased with that. This is the entry level, uh, price point wise, and um, we'll show you some other that go along with it. Is this one here is called the Frederick, and the Frederick is uh, this one actually turned out to be the best seller. Uh, and it's certainly not the cheapest one of them, but that sold better than the entry level item. And then over here we have two more pieces that you see that are the pharmacy lamps. Keep in mind that every one of these has a full range dimmer built in. And of course, you know, everybody, as, as everyone ages, they like to be able to read with a lot of light. And these, of course, we call pharmacy lamps, but they're basically task lamps. So this is, um, we're real pleased with what sold. The quantities were quite good on these, this, at this market for a floor lamp, okay? Then over here, we have a new piece that's a carved out and a white reactive glaze that's on it. And it's a tall, kind of a crude casual piece with an antique brass mounting. And here again, we're talking about uh, that silver gold finish that's on a new shape. It's called Newport, the shape. And of course, this big boy is new to this market, and it's a, it's a really big piece that's been uh, brushed, if you will, while it's still a clay body, and then it's fired with the, gla with the gl white glaze over the top. So you see texture as well as the white color. And the other piece that's with it is Millicent, it's a tall piece and it also features a combed, combed, combed body, if you see. Then uh, we'll talk about some floor lamps. These were new basically in April. Nice thing about these is they're all adjustable. The height, so it's a nice clean shape, but uh, the height is adjustable. And with this one, we have a table on it and it's adjustable, the table is adjustable to fit the height of your chair that's beside it. Of course, once this gets adjusted to the right height, you probably never move it, but you can. The idea that you can move these 
Not only that, but you can also adjust the height here. Or if you want a taller floor lamp, or one that's shorter, that's going to be you know closer and more able to read by, you might want to take and lower this down where you're reading your favorite book in your own privacy. So those were new, and we have sold those, especially this piece. And over here we have what we call uh, wash denim. This is a very blue glaze, a little opalescence in it, and it has a lot of texture at the top that we've added uh, the pumice stone in it so you get a more casual uh, feeling here, but also it features the acrylic mounting, and the shade is the Irish linen shade, very nicely done. It has a fabric liner also on these pieces. So as we go through the showroom, you'll see a few more pieces. This is the piece we talked about up front, but it was on acrylic mounting. And as you pan through here, you see the Radica that we always sell. And then these pieces that we call Peregrine. And this, of course, is a wood veneer. And these pieces are like jewelry. And they sold we sold those very well this market, and they were actually new last fall. And while you're right here, let's look at this floor lamp. This is a, the uh, door set floor lamp that's in a midnight brown. And it's nearly black, but it has some distressing on it where you'll see the wood grain showing through the finish. But a nice clean look in midnight brown. Then over here we have two new pieces that are in what we call a current glaze, current like a red current, but it's the um, uh, graduation coming down from the gold to the red you see on both of these and on the dome shape, the round shape here, and uh, those were new this April market. And we've done so well with this Beaumont finish, we introduced this I think last October, and so we've added new shapes to this with this Beaumont glaze on it, if you will. It's kind of a metallic looking gold silver glaze. And those have been very well received. And as we go through the showroom, we have two new pieces here. Um, one of them has like a stylized hexagon shape that's carved into the clay body before it's fired. And then it features the moonbeam shade with the antique brass mounting. And another somewhat companion piece where it's chiseled out and then it has an uh, antique brass mounting. Here we're doing it with the Irish linen shade. But I've sold both of these this market and I checked the figures and both sold almost identical the numbers of each one. And of course it's featured here with white. As we say a lot of times, white's always right. Um, and then I'll show you one piece here that's new. It's the called the Newport. The Newport, kind of a greenish blue. Uh, you saw it in the uh, other glaze with the silver and gold glaze. And this one is, features the, the green. These two pieces were new last fall and all of a sudden, they're selling like crazy. We cannot keep those in stock. They're really, really been strong sellers for us. Also talk about the paintings here. You see that this one is a fish painting. And we notice our better designers, they tend to design for the person they're working with's passions rather than the region they're from. So you'll see this used in uh, a lot of places that are not necessarily oceanfront property. So that has been extremely good for us. That sold uh, this market, it sold at the pre-market, and uh, so we're, we're delighted with the fish that we have there. That's, that's been quite good. Accented with that silver, uh, kind of a retro frame where it's beveled in. 
Then around here we have what we call petite neutrals. These are all original, offers a lot of texture. They have artists' uh, paste that's used to build up the uh, texture on it. Also has some torn uh, paper in it so you get irregular shapes. Uh, featuring this hammered silver molding that's shadow boxed, if you will. We have uh, started off, as you all know, with petite brights. And petite brights have been a winner for us. We've sold lots and lots of that. And so now we are with uh, petite neutrals. And I looked at the figures on those, and these are selling as well as the petite brights. So there's certainly a need for that. Here again, another one of those functional table lamps in oil bronze. Here we have a piece that's uh, the horn that I talked about earlier. Here it's polished and it's accented with an acrylic mounting. And this is a very masculine, handsome piece. Here we have a sailcloth white shade on it. And this is kind of our gray tone group. He has some good sellers in here. Has this piece and the uh, clint here is a very good selling piece that you're all familiar with. Then as we walk around the showroom, we'll go past an old item here, C-Clutch, and that's probably in the, I know it's in the top 10 sellers in this market, at this market as far as the numbers. It just continues to sell. Of course, it's white, and it also has like a bisque finish on it. <coughs> The uh, new items here, um, Silver Beatrice in that gold and silver finish. But this is a new item absolutely for this market. It features a little you know, beige accents with the blue dots on it so it, uh, and an opalescence uh, glaze on the top of it. So it could go in that blue environment. We're in an area here that we call, uh, features our blue accents, if you will. See the, the blue there and the blue lamps, but there are our petite brights. And that's the one that started the whole process of something very bright. Each one of these is original. So keep in mind, the delivery on this is about eight to 10 weeks because the artist has to create every one of them. It's in a shadow box frame and it's, uh, it's been extremely well received. Keep in mind, if your customer wants to change the frame to the silver, as you saw in the petite neutrals, that's quite all right, of course, to change it. This is a new piece. It features this new steel cradle, if you will. Here you have a gilded iron finish. You'll see one later in a bronze finish. And this is kind of a oh, mid-century modern feel, if you will, with a reactive glaze in blue, kind of a blue and green tone. And over here is a new item in white, and this is a called a Zen. Uh, that's what the name we put on it, but it's inspired by a Zen garden, the Japanese gardens where they comb the uh, pebbles and the uh, sand, if you will. And so you have texture as well as just a white piece. And, but it's a nice size piece too, you know, it's 33 inches tall or so. And then we have a new piece that we call Demi. And this is a color that is the Pantone color of the year, but we chose not to shoot, just show just the straight color. Here you see a combination of color. So it's kind of ragged on here where you end up with a lot of different color, not just the one color that's the Pantone color of the year. Again, we all so show white with the, bright, with the blue and they always contrast against each other, white, blue, white, blue. So that was our kind of our blue display. And as we go around the showroom here, we'll start on this side and show the um, a new, several new pieces. Of course, these, these have been in the line and these are all hand forged pieces. So you get sculpture as well as a, a lamp for a certain look that's uh, quite unusual. Here we have, this is called Spring Blossom. This is kind of a Japanese inspired piece. It's on a, like an almost a 
symbolizes uh, the bamboo. But it has a uh, soda glaze on it that has texture as well as raised. And then that paint, hand painting on there is the uh, gold leafing. And it features, we put a gold leaf mounting on them as a base. And we've sold that item too quite well. And as we go through here, this is a look. As you can see, we set up the showroom to show, you know, feature certain colors, such as this persimmon, as it looks from the top to bottom, from the painting clear down to the lamps. Then we have two new items here. This is seagrass and water hyacinth. And these are woven on a metal frame, so they're very, very secure. Uh, the column uh, has sold uh, the best of the two in a way, but I think a lot of times they're buying pairs of this, singles of that. So those are new, they're in stock, and we're shipping those. And as we come down here, we start seeing drifting into a more of a blush color. Uh, the painting up there is, of course, very muted and a nice blush color as well as a, a gray background, a neutral background. And these uh, are prints. Always keep in mind that those prints are stuff that we print, we give back to our artist, and they sign it, and they name it, and they'll also add pencil or oil pencil into uh, making the the focus of the of the of the print a little more dramatic than if it were just a print out of you know off the press and as we go down here we have two new pieces that we call uh, the deep sea finish this is like an Aegean blue but you see the spattering of silver on the bottom and also featured on the top of these pieces with a silver leaf mounting Now we're kind of drifting into a blue area. You can see that uh, the navy blue has been quite good for us. And uh, we added a new item this time. It's in a dark blue finish, but it has these random, if you will, uh, cloud, terrace, whatever you call it, whatever your imagination is that that is, uh, the white on the blue again, a play of white on blue. So. And of course the painting up there is just great. I mean, it's got a lot of color in it. It could be used in the blue, it could be used in the persimmon, as well as the turquoise color. But the technique's quite nice with the, the artist has allowed the dripping to be featured and uh, it's well received. The uh, four paintings here, these are prints, but they're done in the uh, French impressionistic style. It's a very identifiable style and uh, there are four in this group, plus another piece that matches it in a larger piece. And we've done well with these too. We sold the four as a grouping quite well. And here we have one new piece. It's called Woodstock. It's kind of a mid-century modern type piece, but it's a big, tall, handsome piece. It's like 35 inches tall. It's a big piece, impressive. And as we go on into the showroom, uh, you'll see our Starfall floor lamp in bronze, but here is also a, a new item in the sense of crescent in bronze finish. We've always done it in gilded iron, and we sell a lot of bronze, so uh, we decided, well, why not? We offer it this way, and we've sold it both ways this market, and I think we've sold a few more in bronze than we had in the gilded iron. So if we come on through the showroom, you'll see that the color changes. And here we have probably the best selling item as far as numbers at the market. And this is Olivia, and it features a stylized olives that's on a golden, you know, column that's quite, quite textural and, of course, sculptural as well. And here is a new piece that uh, features a uh, chiseled out clay body and then in white with the, the brown overlay and it has the bronze cradled metal mounting and uh, that's been a quite quite good item too. Here we have uh, two pieces that are in white but it's a reactive glaze. You can see how the white pulls off some of the edges so you don't get just a plain blast of white and uh, these have sold uh, the larger piece in the back, I think we have sold more units than the smaller one, but uh, both have been received well.
Then we'll add to our metal. This is a new piece that's all created by this rectangular metal. A vertical piece that's very narrow and it continues down as part of the mounting and then it's augmented by the square bar that comes off each side. Again, a new painting that has the, the blush, the green, and blue in it. Nicely styled. And that features that double gold mounting we talked about in the sales meeting. There's two frames on that piece. So it's a very interesting. All right, as we go this way, we have, um, again, more of our, what we would call a coral look, if you will. Now, this is a new uh, metal lamp. This is actually um, stainless steel that's been acid washed, acid, acid etched. So there's a texture in there as well as the bronze finish that's applied to the top of it. So it's a nice, clean, sharp look, modern looking piece. And as we go along here, you see these items that we've had. These are like artistic pieces. The fine weaving is superb on those. Um, horse prints. Then we had an additional two pieces. This piece has been phenomenal for us. It's sold so well that we've added two new shapes. The round shape as well as the tall piece that you see here in water hyacinth. And it's, of course, woven on a metal frame, so it's very, very secure. And as we come into the gallery uh, portion of the showroom, featuring blue again, as you can see, and gray and blue with a lot of texture. entering the gallery area with lots of art and lamps that complement the look. Here are two new pieces, again in that Beaumont finish that I talked about earlier. This shape and this shape are now part of the actually four pieces that's in the Beaumont finish. And then we have this Newberg finish that's a graduation from gold down to a very, very deep, dark blue. We have it in the round shape. We also have it in the oval here. And I think the oval shapes outsold the round. At least I know this market it has. But the oval shape works well because a limited real estate on tabletop now. You end up with the oval works better. It doesn't take up as much space. So as we walk through here, um, You'll see how a silver and uh, gray tones have uh, been featured here. A lot of art prints that you see and uh, original old paintings as well as the the prints that you see. Let's go this direction here. We'll go by the office. And you can see uh, this is a more masculine area here. These hunting dogs have done well, especially this market seem like they sold those extremely well. And of course, this is a masculine area with the, the horns, hunting horns, if you will.
Let's go in here because we haven't gone around this area here. We changed the seating arrangement uh, due to the COVID-19 to where this used to have a dining table here. We moved all the dining into the one area in the back. Uh, so this is a, a new display of the drink tables. This is a new f finish on the tri-dot before we had the brass and the uh, polished stainless steel. And now we have a bronze in this, this one here. Uh, over here, we've always had the gilded iron on this marble top piece. And here we now, now feature it with the, the bronze finish. And uh, all of a sudden, this, everybody seemed like this was new to them, you know, because we moved the display and we had a lot of action here, a lot of action on this, on these things. And here we go back into uh, the uh, number five room of the showroom, featuring these light, bright, colorful, very colorful prints. And of course over here, more fish. And that fish painting you've all seen before, and it still sells, people love it, it still sells. We do very well with these sizal pieces that are uh, wrapped around this shape and the columns. I've sold those very well this morning. Hi there, how you doing? Great. And as we go around, uh, sold this piece well, this market. Uh, and we have these woven pieces featured on acrylic. And we have woven pieces that we do a, our own finishes on, on a wooden mounting that's all assembled and finished to match. Here we kind of have an off-white theme going along with some color and uh, as well as texture. You know, this is a, a glaze that's applied over the texture after it uh, has been carved out and then it's fired. And case glass that you see here that you've seen before. We sold this and the tall column in behind this market. And while we're back here, I want to show you, these items are not new. This is the Beatrice, and of course this is the Blanche in white. And all of a sudden, you know, we sold them in that silver gold finish like crazy. Now, the white selling as well as the silver gold. I mean, the, the unit sales on these are almost identical to the uh, silver gold. It used to be the silver gold sold a lot more, so white is doing very, very well. Over here we have three pieces that uh, we call silver haze, and it's actually a randomly torn silver leaf that we put over a body, and then, of course, silver leaf's quite bright, and we tone it down with a little uh, glaze over the top of it and it uh, comes out to be a very nice finish. We use the same technique on some glass lamps that we use, that we make. And so we have two table lamps as well as a floor lamp featured with this silver haze finish on it. I think that just about, it's not everything in the showroom, but that's the vein featured things, featuring the new items, and uh, we've been very pleased with this market. We didn't know what to expect coming in, so we thought, well, if we did half of what we did last fall, it would be a success. And as of, uh, we hit last fall, half of last fall on Sunday, so we feel like we're ahead of the game. We're very glad we were here, and uh, people, the buying mood was good. People came in, they were buying, and that made the difference too, you know, dedicated buyers. So thank you for your attention.